Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Sherelle and today I'm going to be doing a makeup look using some of the products I received in my June Boxy Charm box. Now I know I'm a little late, but it's okay. I really wanted to do this video for you guys, so better late than never. So if you're not familiar with what Boxy Charm is, it's a monthly subscription. You only pay $21 and you receive five full-size beauty products from makeup to skincare to hair products pretty much the whole nine so if you're someone who is interested in trying out new products and you don't mind a little surprise this might be the box for you i'll leave the link down in the description box so you guys can have easy access to the website you know after you watch this video so before we jump into the tutorial i'm gonna actually show you what i received in my box for june because this would be pointless, right? If I didn't show you what was in the box. So let me apologize in advance if you guys hear like background noise. It's a lot going on in my surroundings right now. So please forgive me. So the first item I received is the Real Her Eyeshadow Palette. And there's three editions to this palette. I received the second edition. The second item I received is the, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Bio Bell Cosmetics Facial Mask. The third item I received is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. The fourth item that I received in the box is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Lip Lipstick. And I am very familiar with these. I actually own a few of these. The formula is really good. So I'm excited to try out the new color that I have. And last but not least, the last item I received is the Luxie Beauty Rose Gold Pro Precision Tapered Face Brush number 640. This looks like it'll be perfect for applying highlighter, so I'm kind of excited to try that out too. So I'm going to be taking my Mikasa E300 Blending Brush and I'm going to take this brown shade right here and I'm going to go right into my crease with this. And so it seems to be blending out really well. I've never tried anything from this brand before, so let's see what happens. So I'm sitting here and I'm I'm like not even realizing that these these colors have actual names. So this one is invincible that I'm blending out right now. Not bad. I'm trying to figure out do I want to go in there with like a second layer or so. Hmm. So I applied a second layer on. I didn't really need to, but so far it seems to have some really good pigment as far as on the eyes goes. Not mad at it. Okay, what's next? So next I'm going to take the E310 brush, it's a little small pencil brush, and we're going to take the shade Unshakable, which is this dark brownish, cool brownish tone shade right here, and I'm going to go into my crease again, but this time I'm going to be a little more precise. I'm also going to just apply it to the pretty much the outer corner of my lid. Alright, so I'm just going to go back in with um, the blending brush that I used a minute ago. Clean it off and then I'm just going to blend right over the last shadow we just, I just, well, I just used. This is gonna just blend it out a little bit because that brown is, it's kind of thick. Like, I don't think y'all understand the noise in my background right now. I have somebody outside with a saw, like a couple houses down. Then I have everyone running back and forth in and out the house. 
I have the fan going. I'm surprised the washing machine is not running. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to use, I don't even know what brush I'm using. Why did I? Okay, hold on. E230 Mikasa brush. This is a shadow brush. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take this really light cream color. It's called Driven. And I'm going to pack that all over my lid. So let's see if this works. And then I'm just going to spray one more time. Just go right on top of that shadow we just laid down. I keep saying we. I. I. Alright, and I'm just going to go back into Unshakable, which is the darker brown shade in the palette. With that pencil brush I used earlier, just kind of touch up the outer corner. Then I'm going to clean off my blending brush that I've been using this entire video. And I'm going to just kind of blend out the edge here so it's not so sharp. So now I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics angle brush and I'm just going to go back into... Let's go back into Limitless. That was the last shade that I applied on my lid. And I'm just going to use this for my brow highlight. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera. And when I come back, I'm going to do my lower lash line. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I also did my liner along with my face. So now I'm just going to take that same pencil brush that I've been using and I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the color Indomitable, which is, it's also kind of like a brownish kind of burgundy shade-ish, kind of. I'm just going to keep bringing it down in just a little bit. So I used to be scared of putting eyeshadow on my lower lash line because I didn't want to look like a raccoon but I kind of grew out of it so yeah. So I applied my mascara and my eyelashes. I'm using the Ardell Wispies and girl if your eyelashes is not making a spectacle what are you doing? Now for the highlights we're going to go into that Artist Couture Glow Powder. And what shade is this? I never told you guys what shade. Ooh. Illuminati. Illuminati is the name that they gave it. I'm going to take that Luxie Beauty Precision Tapered Brush. And I'm going to dab it in here. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Alright, so I put some in the cap. I'm going to, let's see what happens here. Okay, nothing yet. Okay. Not bad. I think I gotta build it up a little bit more. The one thing I would say about loose powder highlighters is that they are buildable. Like, some days you wake up and you do your makeup and you don't know if you want that pop in highlighter or you want something a little more subtle and last but not least I'm gonna go in with the Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick and am I tweaking or something like I don't see the name of this on here does Ofra not put their names of the no I think they do. Okay. I'll find out what the name of this is and then I'll leave it down in the description box for you guys. All 
all right guys so this is the final look this is what I came up with using all well not all the products but the makeup products from the June BoxyCharm box before I end this video just do me one favor just one little bitty favor hit that subscribe button down below somewhere on your screen I don't know where it's at but you do so click it Also, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you want to see maybe an unboxing video of the next BoxyCharm box that I receive. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video.